Next, Earl says, basic one-on-one -on -one question. How many links is too many links in a blog post? Client with multiple networks he wants to rank for. Uh, client with multiple, excuse me, keywords that he wants to rank for. 40 to 50 or more. A good breezy blog post can easily include five or six more keywords that matter to him without being stuffed or forced. Can we link each keyword phrase just one plus just one plus a domain URL or go overboard and link more, averaging just one post a week or less. I do not want to increase that velocity. And since we have so many keywords, should we also make them tags whether or not we link them? All right, Earl, that, um, the, the, the main thing that I would see here with, the, with this is how are you, this 40 or 50 more keywords, you want to silo that site. Right? You're talking about a lot of different keywords that this site wants to rank for. So because of that, you're going to want to add silo structure or build silo structure into the site. And so that's going to determine how you have your site siloed, compartmentalized. Right? How you have it siloed is how it is going to determine your internal linking structure from within the post. So in other words, you've you got to place the post within the proper categories or proper silos within the site. And you don't want to cross link from one silo to another. For navigational purposes, it makes sense to do so, guys. Like if, if you're optimizing for the visitor, for the user, human optimization, right? Then it makes sense to link cross silo links, right? It, it, it makes sense to do that. But I always recommend that you do that with a no follow link so that you're not bleeding the theme of the silo. But as far as pushing internal juice, right? So what they call page rank sculpting, or I just I guess we call it equity sculpting or juice sculpting now, right? Uh, you would want to use your do follow internal linking structure, uh, internal links to only link within the same silo. So again, when you're trying to rank, if you're, if you're trying to rank a site for 40 or 50 more keywords as a flat site, which means no silo structure whatsoever, uh, that's going to be messy anyways, right? So I recommend that you would silo this site out and then depending on how you have your Supporting articles stacked within the silos is going to determine how you're going to do your internal links. And that's going to cut way, way down on it because you're not going to link from one silo to another uh, unless you're doing it for navigational purposes, in which case you're using a nofollow link. And that doesn't really affect SEO anyways. Does that make sense? So as far as if there is a number of how many, I don't know what that number is. I know that there is a law of diminishing returns that applies to um, internal links within a, a page or a post. But I don't know what the threshold is where it really starts to have a um, a negative effect or at least not be not have a positive effect or like a neutral effect. I'm not sure what that threshold is. Marco, do you have any insight on that? No, no, I don't. Yeah, and it's only and the only reason why I don't know what that threshold is is I've never tested it because typically the posts uh, pages and posts on a site that I'm working on don't have any more than two or three internal links anyways. Um, it's very rare that there's more than that. And, um, and that's just because that's just the way that the, 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 um, sites are siloed out. Okay. But you could play with it Earl. I recommend that you build silo structure into that site. And then you can start playing with, uh, you know, once you have structure in place, you can start playing with posts and, and link, uh, number of links within the post. And then you'll be able to determine if you, if you're tracking your keywords and you have your site siloed properly, then let's say in silo one, you you do three internal links from a post uh, within the same silo. And then over at silo two, in another post, you do like 12 internal links and measure the kind of results that you see with your rank positioning. Because if you see that one has a significant um, improvement over another, then you know that like you can start to, uh, through a process of elimination, determine what's working and what doesn't. I mean, that's all we do, guys, is we just set up tests all the damn time. Right. All right. Cool. That's an awful picture, Wayne. <laughs> Thanks. That is really disturbing. All right. Adam says we got about five minutes. We got master class webinar after this, guys, by the way. So anybody in the master class, be ready for that.